Science is dynamite. Dinosaurs are everywhere. They're even the theme of the school's science fair. But first, students are immersed in everything dinosaur. The music teacher teaches them songs about dinosaurs and chants about dinosaurs. The gym teacher tries to incorporate games with the dinosaur theme. The art teacher had them make dinosaurs. When they go to computers, the computer teacher has them researching dinosaur facts. And they've learned new vocabulary. They've gone home and learned stuff at home and come back and shared it with us. And I'm just impressed at how much they love learning about dinosaurs. We graph the length of dinosaurs in math, and they love that. In social studies, we did geography, and they got to see what states the dinosaurs actually lived in. And they, were, they love geography now. I have four students in my class that want to be paleontologists. <laughs> Games like Dino's Discount Debit hone math skills. So does the terrible T-Rex game. It was about um, our times tables, and she was asking you the questions about the times tables, and if you got it right, you could get a bone. But if you still got it right, if somebody gives you the, um, a bone with this, what says the terrible T-Rex, then you lose a point, a bone. It also made them excited about learning their times tables and just being in competition itself. So it just gets them really happy and excited and just, you know, it's, it's a whole lot of fun for them and they're learning at the same time. What's the name of your dinosaur again? Allosaurus. Allosaurus. I had to figure out ways to explain the different features of each to all the kids. Um, like with our third graders, they have protoceratops. So I'd explain, well, the thing on the back of their head isn't just for show. <laughs> it's so when something comes over and tries to bite it on the back of the neck, they can't. <laughs> Learning so much about dinosaurs got some students thinking about their favorite dinosaur, and others thinking about what dinosaurs would be like today. Stegosaurus. Why is that your favorite? Because they have spikes on the back. What is it about spikes that you like so much? Because my brother has one to say. <laughs> And if they um, went extinct, they'll be um, they'll they'll be mammals like us. They'll still have green skin, big eyes, and three fingers. But they won't wear any clothes, and they'll be called trailer dudes with a big head in the back right here. It'll be like an alien. Second graders took information from their study of Egypt and the pyramids to explain dinosaur extinction. The planets and the stars and the sun at the same time, the distance apart and the radius all matched, like the three great pyramids matched the three planets, the first three planets from the sun. And I never knew that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that stuff kind of boggled my mind too. And then one of the students actually brought to me, well, maybe that's how um, the dinosaurs were killed. Maybe they fought the aliens. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> you might be on to something. After weeks of study, it's time for the science fair. All grades are included and take turns making presentations. The name of our dinosaur is an Allosaurus. It lived during the Jurassic period 150 million years ago. It had little arms and a large head. An Allosaurus also had sharp teeth, so little dinosaurs better beware. John, what did Amagosaurus eat? Our, our Amagosaurus only ate plants, and it was a herbivore. Conclusion, if you look at the similarities, similarities between the land iguana and the protoceratops, it is possible for the protoceratops. What's impressed me the most is their level of interest. We all love this dinosaur theme. And it wasn't hard to find things on dinosaurs. It was just a lot of work getting it all together. But once you did, the results made it worth it. Everybody